Oh boy, it happened. The new story is here. Saves no longer work. Killing me. You're killing me, Subnautica Debs. Gonna miss my old base. Gonna miss Jerry. Bye, Jerry. All right. Let's see what this new story is. Oh, check that out. Oh, wow. We're flying. So I was right. There is a crash event. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh. Ho ho. Damn, check that out. Here we go. Oh! Ho, ho. oh it's buggy, guys, but that's it's super early in construction. Like, this is the first iteration we get to publicly see. Oh, that's so sick. Check that out. Come on, let's get out. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they've completely changed this. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, a thing's dropping from the from the sky. I better go towards that. Dude, this is sick. Oh my god, how did they throw this together so fast? <laughs> oh my god! Dude, there's so many there's so many meteors! I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta compose myself. Oh, I can't wait to see all the new stuff. If there is new stuff. I can't wait to see all the new stuff. Gotta jump into the ocean. Because my, my drop pod is over right there. Dude, what did they change? Arrival. Landing was a bit rough, but I don't think Altera spotted me. The life pod deployed with gusto. Once I track it down and get settled, I'll be able to get back to work. If Sam left any traces, I'll find them. I'll start with that doodle she sent me. Oh, God. If, it almost feels dirty, though, doing this. Because, like... It's a different story, you know? Like, this feels so weird. I'm, I'm so used to playing Subnautica with the story that we, we had. Not this. This is different. I've completely changed who I am and my personality. That's so weird. Found the life pod. Is this anything new? Yada, 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 what? Not being on fire. I guess now I could die happy. All right, so they're going to have all kinds of new voice acting, too. Welcome to Adventure Mode, Xeno Warrior. You have arrived in an Arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Xeno Works PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs since you have downloaded the Arctic Survival Alma Almanac. That used to be... That's that's a nod towards the old name of the of the uh, architect's pre precursor things. I feel like it is, anyways. It will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventures, your device will also record observing as you find... Yada, yada, yada. Okay, retreat to safe environment. Administer first aid if required. Dude, that is so cool. So they have all the same go-tos. Stories are... the same. Yeah, they look like they're the same. How far can we go? Is it just the new intro that we have? You guys that watch Subnautica content, even not just from me, but from anyone, have you, do you feel weird now that everything's been changed? Like, is it, isn't it really weird? I'm gonna see if Marge 1 still works. Yo, this means they have to change like all of the voice acting dialogue. Is this gonna work? No, I, oh, it does, what? That doesn't make sense. Are you sure I'm the kind of gal you wanna be following? Okay, all right. All right, so that's the same. Was not expecting that. So then Marge 2, will this be the same? Yeah, I think it's all the same. You got a problem. Where are you? Why are you hiding? You know how many lawsuits are out on me? How could I? You haven't even told me your name. Oh, it just dragged me through the wall. That's cool. All right. Not giving me a spoop today. God, that is so crazy. What about story end game? Does that... Unlock the in-game stuff, I wonder. Did they change how this all looked? This is basically all the same. No voice. That's automatically activated here. Is it gonna work? No? Nothing? Alright, that was expected, to be honest with you. 
Hey, the terminal's still here. Vesper's exploded credits now playing. That's that's the same. I'm gonna take a look and see if anything else is different with this cave. I don't know if our base is still there. I don't know if the entrance is still the same. I'm wondering if anything triggers. Gonna take a look and just see. Okay, so there's no explosion. Running down here. Don't usually go this way after the fact. I usually can't. Oh, the base is still there. I thought they would have removed that. All right, the base is still here. However, the dropship is gone. Okay, that's cool. Dangerous weather. Well, it's a good thing I'm here. Hey, look, it's our old bedroom. I miss this place. I miss this place. Is the Vesper still in the sky? Is the Vesper gone? Oh, no way. Looks like they've changed this stuff too. The ends of this look really good they still have some plants there it looks like they've changed the map quite a bit is this rocket island yeah it is there's the rocket there's the crash ship there's the other part of the crash ship so that's still there too so what else did they change then is it literally just this intro kind of curious to see where we actually drop from all right so it's doing the thing so it looks like we're just launching from a box that's in the air right now uh, there's meteors everywhere. And then there's the map over there. It's kind of interesting. So these must be the new civilian dropships then. What am I... What is this supposed to be though? Is this just literally for the intro or is this like Vesper territory? Obviously there I am doing stuff with my hands. All right, start moving right there. Okay, I launch out of here and I start flying away. I see the planet back there spinning around like a giant bowling ball look at the size of that meteor holy crap is that the vesper yo that was the that's the vesper the vesper is super far out you guys see that i think the vesper is an actual 3d model now i gotta reload and see okay there's the drop pod it fell from super high up little rock right there giant meteor there is us i think this is when we hit this i think oh yeah there's the rock there that hits us oh okay well technically we should be dead but that's fine and then it hits us and we go flying down through the sky and we're spinning barely able to keep up and then that's where we crash land right there Oh, wow. We, we like skip and hop. Oh, and then we're going to do the animation, I think. There we go. Yeah, we're getting up. We get over. We, we hit the thing and then we kick it open. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's so sick. And the dropship disappears, unfortunately. Here we go. Now we can see everything super easy. Oh, wow. It looks like the planet has its own little model, too. Check that out dark side of the moon and then that means the vesper has its own 3d model too the vesper is a 3d model again i'm happy about that but it it kind of zooms off somewhere over there i think it's kind of weird that we have this over here so i guess we're not launching from the vesper we're launching from somewhere else or well maybe a different company is interested in this island this planet now there's the Vesper right here. I'm kind of curious, what's inside this orb? This is like the skybox, I think, or something. Oh, it's all weird in here. There's like different orbs now and stuff. I think these are just the events and where they happen. Like this is where we teleport after. Hey, there's another dropship right there doing its own thing. That's cool. Doesn't seem like anything else has actually changed though. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the story for now. No more messing around. Let's see just how far we can go. I I honestly, guys, I think it's only the intro. Like, I, th I think that's all we can actually go through. I don't think there's actually, like, any story other than that. This looks really cool, though. There's the rock. Bam. That hits us. We went through the meteor. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but again, super early access, so it's going to be buggy. And we're going for the crash landing. Yeah. All right. Let's see just where the story lets me go. Again... I don't expect much. I get the feeling that we're not supposed to be here. Maybe we're pirates because we don't want Altera seeing us dropping in. The freighter came through. I almost can't believe it. I'm actually going to do this heading to 4546B with little more than a napkin drawing of Sam's base to go by. But I need to know what happened to her. And she said she found something big. I have to know what it is. Everyone thinks I'm crazy for doing this without a plan to get back. 
but Altera had a team down there. They're bound to have left supplies I can use. This is literally the first time I've ever had faith in Altera. Maybe everyone is right about me, but the future is not behind me on Earth. I have to move forward. I need to do this. So we came here looking for Sam. There's some more stuff right here. Policy changes and a party from Jack. So this PDA is just going over you having to sign some terms and conditions stuff, basically. Reading down through this, it's uh, a business asset warning. Basically, she didn't upgrade her PDA like she was supposed to. And you got a written warning. You're being bad, Robin. You're being a bad girl. All right, so it seems like the story has changed where we are an employee of Xenoworks. And Xenoworks has a contract with Altera to work together for some reason. And in that contract, uh, Altera has agreed to give Xenoworks employees brand new Altera PDAs and upgrades. All right, that seems... Oh, a notice of death! Sam is reported as dead. Injuries sustained and an accident arising from her own neg negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for your loss of your sister. So this is interesting. Uh, they're talking about the Altera stuff that's happening. And when I go to call two, the text is all messed up. Like there is no, I can't read it. It's like I see cat and water and just weird stuff. Is that meant to be like that? It's all the same. Sam's location. Okay, so long story short, we're here because we got a notice from Altera that Sam died, apparently, uh, and uh, bad things happened, basically. It's like, it's so confusing because the story could be different. It could be changed at a moment's notice. Um, but from what I gather, we're here because Sam asked us to come here and then we find out Sam's dead. So now we're here and we're trying to find out what happened to her and that's why we're here. There was something big that she found and, you know, I'm assuming it's, uh, it's, uh, architect, you know, so... Uh, is that? I'm gonna mess around and see if I can get anything else out of this. And I've used the day cheat a couple times. Nothing has popped up in the story, so I'll uh, I'll explore for a little bit. I'm gonna go see if I can pay Alan a visit real quick. The cursor stuff is still there. I see dots on my screen. Personal log distress call. Sea monkey nest is there as well. What's my personal log? These dots are weird. Emergency shelter. Protected. Okay. So, I just hear, like, crazy monster sounds. There's Alan's base. All right. Anything? Hello? All right. Seems like it's the same so far. No, you didn't. You came here for Sam. The gate didn't lock. All right. Let's see if this does anything different. All right. Still the same. Still the exact same. Okay. Did not expect that. Storage medium fabrication is still the same. So I assume this is the same. All right. Still the same. Still the same. We're going. We're going. All right. That's all the exact same. Let's see if the Leviathan is the same. Oh, the water's still there. That's not promised. Is he still there? Big guy. He's still there. I figured he would be. And that's still the same. All right, friends. Well, it seems that is all I have right now on Subnautica Below Zero. There's been some major... Major changes, but I, uh... Yeah, I even tried out that supply cache that was there that I wanted me to go to. It didn't do anything for me. So I, I guess, um... I guess that's it for now. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've got one last trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna see if there's any event triggers and see if there's anything to do with the story if I get those. Give me a second. We're gonna jump right to that. All right, now. so I need to get inside this pod because I'm pretty sure there is an event trigger when I go in through the door. And then there's going to be a drop pod that comes down next to me. When that comes down next to me, I need to go to it. And I'm going to do it legitimately rather than ghosting over there because there might be a trigger somewhere along the way. I don't know if this was a normal feature or not, but I've noticed if you go AFK or you don't move in the water for a while, you actually start to get cold and you need to move around to make the meter go up. Look on the left. Do you see the red circle thing? Well, I start moving around, it'll actually go up. I heat myself up by moving around and, well, exerting energy. Kind of cool. It might get a little bit annoying if you gotta, you know, do something. There it is right there. The emergency cache. I'm gonna try and get to this. I'm using the oxygen cheat because I don't want to have to deal with the BS of drowning if I'm not making an actual survival attempt. So 
Uh, there's that. Just see, maybe, just maybe there might be something that happens. Shot in the dark, but, you know, I hope. We can hope. I'll at least see what you actually get over here, so that's good, I guess. All right, so we got some supply crates. Uh, what is, what is this? Compass. All right, something completely useless for underwater survival for the moment. Pathfinder tool. There's that. Uh, mobile vehicle bay fragments over here. Everything's subject to change, just so you know. Could change. These are kind of cool. A lot of sea monkeys around here, too. I noticed there's an entrance down here uh, towards a cave. This is new. I think this just brings you directly down into the sea monkey area to give you more of a reason to go down here. Lots of these nasty... Ow, crash fish. I'm not quite sure where this actually leads. I'm assuming this is just the normal, the normal area. Oh, yeah, it brings you down to some... All right, so that's down to then, architect stuff. Let's get back up here. Let me just ghost out. I'm gonna see, because I don't spend much time in the Sea Monkey Cave Tavern, so I, I don't really know if they've actually extended this or not. I feel like they haven't, because there's a lot of work that goes into finalizing this area. And where it's a new intro, I can't imagine, you know, they'd finalize anything about it yet. Yeah, it, uh, it all looks about the same to be honest with you. There's some new music. I like the new music. You got the eggs down there too. Ah, uh, but that seems to be it for now. I don't see any signs of anything else that might be new in this area. All right, I think for now, that's it. I can't think of anything else I should check. If there is something I should check, let me know down below in the comments section and I'll uh, I'll go see if uh, if there's anything down there. But for now, that is it on Subnautica Below Zero. Let me know what you think so far of the story changes. It's subject to change and it's also very, very early in development. So there obviously will be some substantial bugs and things just won't be finalized. Part of an EA game. All right, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.